Greetings! What's this? It's an Anton in HD. That's right. I uh, I totally upgraded my filming setup and figured that, uh, especially given that today's alpha push is mostly, or at least the visual stuff you've all seen before, I figured I would start out today's devlog uh, just on cam instead of in VR. Um, so yeah, this is, I've had, I've had a number of friends who've been bugging me for the longest time, like, you should really stop using that terrible Logitech, uh, webcam that just has a perfect view out to the garbage pile you call a living room. So here we are, um, new and improved. Anywho, let's, uh, let's talk about today's alpha. We have the, it's actually an alpha build, the first of the year, uh, alpha one for update 97. And this alpha cycle is going to primarily be about uh, nuts and bolts stuff, about bug fixes, improving a couple sort of background systems, and a bunch of take and hold tweaks and improvements uh, that will lead up to, hopefully in this, in this, uh, in this update, uh, a new take and hold level, the, uh, the sort of take and holdified winter wasteland. So let's let's start off and talk about the, the the stuff that is in this alpha that I have not covered yet uh, in a prior video. Obviously, the stuff that uh, you saw in the prior videos, like the the future Sosa gun set, is in. Although it's only in the proving ground right now, that'll be added later to be able to spawn in some fashion. I'm still figuring it out, and all of those changes to Sosa guns that I told you about, although they're not done yet. You will notice basically that the future Sosa gun set has reload sounds uh, when you holster them, but all of the other ones don't because I still have to go and configure those. We're still offering some sound effects for them. There's like 80 Sosa guns, so it's a lot of work. Um, but in terms of what is in this alpha that I could actually really use folks' attention on, is I have made a number of balance and generation changes to the way that Take and Hold works. So the first of these is that because of just the sloppy way that I did some random generation stuff, there's always been a somewhat uneven number of tokens that would appear over the course of a run. They were mostly consistent, but they would tend to vary up or down one, occasionally spiking more just because random numbers aren't really random in the way that we colloquially think of them. Um, that has been changed now. There should now be a significantly more deterministic number of total tokens available. Where they appear, though, is still still has some variation. The big change in terms of the way the take and hold menu works, which I'll show here, is that there's now an extra option for it called hold order seed. And this is primarily for folks who are running uh, take and hold tournaments. Um, basically, the order of hold points in a match of take and hold is not randomized until after you get past the first sort of five uh, hold points. Um, they are authored, they're designed progressions. There are 10 of them in total. And so what this allows you to do instead of say having it set to randomly pick from one of those is pick a specific seat. So if you are just competing against a friend um, or running a tournament and you wanna say, be like, all right, round two is going to be the third seat Seed. Everyone can just hit three and they will get the same hold order. Everything else will still be randomly generated. It'll be different guns out of the spawner as usual. Anything else that's subtly different will still be different, um, but they will all have the same hold order, which is important, especially in the default level, because some rooms have two entrances to them that enemies spawn through, and some rooms have three, which radically changes the difficulty of some of the holds. So it's important to have some consistency there. So that is now an option. In addition, the secondary station type that spawns in a supply room is also no longer randomized. So let's say there are three supply points now. They will all now have different secondary stations, the recycler, the ammo uh, spawner, and the mag duplicator. Um, so it will no longer be the case that because of a bad run of luck, you could go four holds and never see a gun recycler. Um, I might introduce 
later in some tweaks, I might add some variation back in. We'll see. Um, but I definitely wanted to fix this up um, because it was just far too random. And in edge K, like one in 20 runs, it would do something really weird. So yeah, so those are the main take and hold tune-up options. I'm still playing with things. Um, scoring is currently disabled because I am working to improve it, um, both just to make some of the ratios make a little more sense, but there's also a, a few bugs in terms of how scoring is registered because of like damage flags on SOSIGs. So I hope to fix that up soon. Let's see, let me look at my change log here oh uh other just miscellaneous stuff that is in this update the winter wasteland now has a uh, full reset hot dog that you can eat note this is not a reversible thing um but if you want to say have a friend uh play through the mode you can now eat the uh eat the sausage it will it will clear all of the flags and reload the scene and it should be as though you had never played it before um if you want to back up your progress to have a friend play it um just go into your app data folder like app data your account local low rust ltd hot dogs horseshoes and hand grenades and just copy all of the files in there onto your desktop like into an extra directory and you can always restore them later and that'll restore your progress if you need to um, yeah, all the Sosa gun stuff from prior video and just a whole mess of bug fixes. I'll leave those to you to read in the change log. Believe me, they're like, they're like 20% of the total bugs that I have accrued on my to-do list to deal with. But I've had a bunch of other stuff going on in my life the past um, month or so that has made finding the energy to slog through that a little difficult. But I, I hope to finally be getting, especially just getting an alpha build out finally, I hope that that can give me a little more inertia. Um, and I do hope this year to probably be streaming a little more. I did it recently, really enjoyed it uh, again. And now I got this fancy schmancy setup for it. Uh, honestly, it's really cool to have a mic here. Just sort of like, can take a nap if I need to on a pillow on my mic pillow so anyway i am over caffeinated and rambling and that is about all that's of relevance as i said no take and hold scoring is disabled um it's on the known issues list and uh hopefully this this coming month we can get to some of those known issues i definitely want to get it so that the uh the flip sites actually can go back to being flipped because that might be the most common question uh that i get as to why that doesn't work so yeah, so that just about does it. As I said, this is, I know this isn't a terribly exciting alpha. It's mostly stuff you folks have seen, um, but I'm doing a lot of substrate work that is not terribly exciting, uh, but needs to get done anyway. And hopefully over the next couple weeks, we can move on to uh, some of the more exciting stuff. And with that, I hope you all have a, uh, a wonderful weekend. See you next week. Peace.